Hi, I'm Daniel from Drones Kaki Professional here at DJI Sunway Pyramid to showcase you the brand new DJI Matrix 300 RTK. So let's take a look at what we have here, shall we? In this carrier case, we will show you what you will receive in your package. So let's first unlock the two latches in, in the case to see what's inside of it. So this is what you will receive in your package. Firstly, you will get your aircraft, the DJI M300 RTK. One set of TB60 batteries for your aircraft. One WB37 battery for your smart controller. And of course, the one DJI Enterprise smart controller. Over to this side of the case, you will receive one pair of landing gear which you will use to attach to your DJI M300 when you assemble your drone. And if next, if we unlock this zip, you will get extra set of propellers for your aircraft in case your propellers needs, needs replacing. Now let's move on to the assembly part of the M300. So the first step to assemble your M300, firstly, you will have to take your landing gears, both of them, attach it to the drone and lock it. Now you take the other side and do the same process. Now you will take your drone upside down and turn it around. And this is your M300 RTK, not yet fully assembled. And now you will, now let's take open the prop firstly, take off the propeller holders on both sides. Now we unfold the propellers. We unfold on the left side first. Once you unfold it, lock it using its locking mechanism. Now let's do on the right side. Repeat the same process as you did on the left side. Extend it and lock it. Once that is done, extend your propellers to its act to its correct position. So in this showcase, we will attach a payload to the M300. For the payload, you will use the Zenmuse H20T camera. To attach the, the payload to the M300, firstly take off both caps on the gimbal and one on the, on the payload. Once that has been done, align the white, white dot on the payload and the red dot on the gimbal and then twist it until you hear a click sound. Once that has been attached, you can remove your payload cover and your H20T camera is now set for operation. For the batteries, the M300 uses the TB60 battery. For it to operate, it will require a pair of these batteries which allows the M300 to last up to 55 minutes of flight time without payload. So let's insert the batteries on. Once you've inserted the battery, turn the lock mechanism counterclockwise to lock the batteries into place. Now your M300 is ready to fly. Once that has been set up, you can take your WB37 battery and attach it into your remote controller so that it can make the controller operate twice as long as it intended to be.